Good evening, everyone. I'm Dana Kozlov. Welcome to our viewers on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. Today, residents and business owners in Highland Park are being allowed downtown for the first time since Monday's deadly mass shooting. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza was there for this emotional day. Sabrina. Hi, Dana. Businesses will be able to open starting tomorrow morning, but that does not mean they'll all be open immediately. Today was all about taking those first steps beyond the tragedy and beyond the yellow tape. I haven't been in here since Monday. No, not since Monday. Monday, everything changed in Highland Park. And I hope that they find their strength to come back just as strong as they were, which I'm pretty sure they're going to. Now for the first time in days, business owners were allowed access inside the crime scene tape. Some neighbors peeking in, heads held high with a tear or two. The first steps along the parade route toward a new sense of normalcy. We're looking forward to just putting a smile back on the face of Highland Park, you know, and all of the great people here. The once vibrant downtown is eerie, quiet, just a street sweeper, some construction and expired milk. Freezers full of gelato and milk and um, things like that in refrigeration. Sweet Home Gelato lost thousands of dollars in the days that followed the mass shooting. It's especially a day like today, it would probably be a five to $8,000 day. This store supplies their Chicago Riverwalk and Libertyville locations. The Chicago Riverwalk we had to shut down yesterday and today. The cost was nothing for getting the investigation done right. That stinks. We, we lost money, um, but I'd much rather have them do a thorough investigation and be able to do as much as many charges as they can. For all they lost, they still plan to host first responders and kids in for a scoop soon on the house. Just to bring some kind of happiness in, in any way. So if that's if a little kid comes in here and gets a free gelato and smiles and walks out, doesn't think about that day, that's great. Sweet Home Gelato hopes to open their doors by Tuesday at noon, though the decision on reopening varies from business to business. The earliest they're allowed to reopen, 6.30 tomorrow morning. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. All right, Sabrina, thank you.